Algonquin elder Claudette Kamada acknowledged the NDP's support for Indigenous issues during her blessing. And I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your dedication, your hard work, your commitment, and your care for First Nations people. And we do need your support. We do. Next, it was NDP leader Jagmeet Singh's turn to tell new MPs who they are working for as they take the oath. Mentioning Grassy Narrows' fight against mercury poisoning and families caught in an underfunded child welfare system. Kids who are just demanding basic fairness, that they should receive equal funding, and as a result of not getting equal funding, kids have died. We're here to fight for them to say they should not be brought to court by the government, that that appeal should be dropped immediately. We're here for those kids. Among the crowd were two new Indigenous MPs. Mumi Lok Kokok is the young Inuk from Nunavut, who had several members of her family in Ottawa. Leah Gazan is MP for Winnipeg Centre and shared her thoughts on Trudeau's new cabinet. No matter how the cabinet is shuffled, I think, you know, if they're really serious about reconciliation, if they're really serious about human rights in this country, if they're really serious about honouring the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, that needs to be shown through action and not words. Singh was asked if he will still support the Trudeau minority if Indigenous concerns, like a new UNDRIP bill, is not mentioned in the throne speech. He believes there will be a government-sponsored UNDRIP bill. So, so far, I have nothing to believe that they won't do it um, in terms of the language I've heard, but I know that they say nice things during a campaign and need to be pushed to deliver. I'm going to push hard to make sure they deliver. Gazan says a new UNDRIP bill should improve on the failed private member's bill, C-262. I mean, certainly with the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal ruling, uh, maybe they need to extend that bill to include operational uh, practices uh, so that they can't just randomly take First Nations uh, kids to court. Next big event in Ottawa will be Trudeau's announcement of his new cabinet tomorrow. Todd Lamarant, APTN National News, Ottawa.